There's an old saying that says, no wind is favorable to the sailor who has no destination in mind. You don't know how to set the sails. You don't know how to, you know, tack appropriately. Your life energy speaks to you through longing and discontent. It sends two signals right to your conscious mind if you pay attention to them. And if you start noticing the thoughts you've been having, you might have had thoughts like, oh, if I could just get this done, then I could really do that. Or I'm just going to, I'm going to put my, you know, down to the grindstone and I'm going to make this happen and then I'll be able to. And so you're noticing some struggle. You're noticing if you pay attention that, that there is a longing, but your thought or your mindset says, I have to get this done before I can have that. That, that there's, a, a, and some, for some of us, we have an agreement with longstanding struggle. Just that's how it is. We got to have that struggle. So in your noticing what you're longing and noticing your discontent, let's start with your health. Because regardless of what's going on in the world, you and I have health. The quality of that health, the aliveness of that health, and I think many of you who are with me in this moment, that's a dominant part of you know, your work, your energy, your life, that we're all part of this. Everybody wants really the same thing with their health. Everybody you meet. That's the only part of life where everyone wants the same result. We all want dynamic, beautiful health with flexibility and stamina and strength, and we sleep well and we wake rested and we have an acuity in the way we think, and we all want great health. Notice your longing and discontent with your current state of health. That's life speaking to you. At least notice what it's saying to you. And the next one is relationships. So notice your longing and your discontent in the area of relationships. Have you always wanted that loved one, that special someone? It just hasn't happened. Have you been in, are you in a relationship that, if you're really honest about it, it might have gotten a bit on cruise control? And the kind of energy and the vitality and the focus that you had at the beginning is a little faded and you'd like to gain that back. You'd like to, or maybe it's going great and you still want it to go deeper. Are there somebody or someone in your life that um, maybe there's discontent or maybe there's distance or uh, dissonance that you would like that resolved. So whether you see them again or not, but when they walk through the streets of your mind, you feel at peace. There's not that rancor that gets riled up whenever you think about them. In the area of your relationships, what's your longing, what's your discontent? You want to notice what you're noticing there. Why do you want to notice what you're noticing? Because of what we're going to do after we notice. But you can't do something that you haven't noticed something about. Health, relationship. And the next one is your vocation. What you're doing with your time and talent. Whether you earn income doing it or not, most of us earn income doing what we do with our time and talent. So where's your longing? Where's your discount? Are you working too many hours? And you say, oh, I love, I love what I'm doing. I don't like the number of hours I'm doing it. Uh, or I would love to change this part of it. Or I, don't I love that, but I no longer love that part of it. Now I love this part of it. Where's your longing? Where's your discontent? in the area of your vocation, your vocari, what you do with your time and talent. Not everyone earns income doing what they do with their vocation. You don't have to earn income. But if you would love to earn income doing it, then that would be part of your longing. Noticing your longing, noticing your discontent, so that we can do something about that. Health, relationships, vocation. And the last one is your freedom quadrant of life. Every one of us has a certain amount of freedom that we can allow in our lives. Economic freedom, time freedom, your freedom to, get, to go where you want to go, have what you want to have, do what you want to do, and probably even more importantly, your freedom to give what you really want to give. You want to <clears throat> help your kids, help your grandkids, you want to... Um, you know, use, use enough economic freedom to have the home you want to have, the comfort. You know, nobody wants stone and brick, and, but we want a level of comfort so we can be creative enough to give our real gift, comfortable enough to be creative enough. That's the only thing money is really, really good for at the end. So we're comfortable enough so we can be creative enough to really do the life we came here to do and live. So again, in these four areas, health, relationships, vocation, time and money, freedom, what would you love? What would you love that to be like? And I would, in your mind, 
use your mindset to put it out a couple of years. In two years, this is what I this is really where I want to end up. I want my life to be like this. Can it happen sooner? Of course it can happen. Pro likely, if you apply these principles, will happen sooner. But you trick your subconscious mind. If you say, I'm going to get this done in a year, your, your, your memory remembers very well the kinds of things you've been able to generally accomplish in a year's time. And you've got to hook your believing to the outcome you want. So your subconscious mind just isn't quite so sure what, in fact, you might get done with some new skill sets in a couple of years of time. So you hold that in mind. Important. You could take five minutes. You could take a minute on each and just say, I would this and I would love that and I would love that. Or you could spend more time and really like a person who's going to really have their dream life, their dream home, you design it. You could spend some time doing that. You have a mindset. Use this. You're in a growth mindset. You're, you're an open system to integration and acceleration, not contraction and disintegration. That, that happens moment by moment, thought by thought, decision by decision. I'm going to notice what I'm noticing. I'm going to notice my longing and my discontent long enough to help me shape a vision, use my imagination intelligently, and imagine me living a life that would answer my longing and dissolve my discontent. Answer my longing and dissolve my discontent. And then you shape that into a vision. You try on possible futures until you go, I would love this. I would love this result in my life. So skillful means then, how do I then, if this is where I want to end up, if I've got my rudder set and I want to end up here six months from now, two years from now, what does your health look like, your relationships, your vocation, your business, the work you're doing, your accounts, kind of time and money freedom, you look at your calendar, what are you seeing, you look in your bank accounts, what are you seeing, you imagine it. You, you know you, you can't create something you can't bring to mind then you're going to have a mindset of your belief about how easy it's going to be, how difficult it's going to be, whether you're the person who can have it, whether you are worthy of it, whether you feel confident, and all of those things are in the pattern of the life you've been living. There's infinite ideas, but the only ideas you will have are based on the, the frequency that you're tuned to. So every one of us right now could get on the internet. In fact, you are watching this because you're, you found some way to find the URL and you're watching this. And it's available to you. It's on the internet. The internet, as vast and wide and wonderful as it is, is merely the storehouse of all things humans have learned, written about, stored, and recorded for about the last 6,000 years. So there's zillions of things you could go find on the internet. But you don't want zillions of things. You want the thing you're focused on. So you put something in the search box. And the search engines go and find everything like what you're interested in. You have access point to another resource, not just the internet. You have access to the infinite. You are a point of connection to the mind of the infinite. It is, in fact, the mind you think with. And your thinking is the search engine. It's sending signals to everything that will come to you as ideas, responses, the people, the circumstances, the support or the lack of support that you will bring into your attractor field has everything to do with the frequency you're focused on. And I'm going to generate results anyway, so why not results? Why not generate results I'm interested in? And I'm going to apply these tools. I'm this today you're going to generate a vision for your life. Where when all this is said and done and it's six months from now or a year and a half from now, two years from now, where you're going to end up in your life, regardless of the tumultuous times, regardless of the circumstances and situations. You have a power in you to decide that regardless of conditions. It costs you no money. It costs you mind share. It's a mind focused on where you want to end up. And then you begin to focus on that and build on that. And in the meantime, that's what you do today. Notice what you're noticing. Notice your longing. Notice your discontent. Take notes in each of the four areas, health, relationship, vocation, time, and money, what you're longing for and what you're discontented about, even three things. And then once that's in front of you, you've noticed it enough to put it on paper and get it in front of you, three things in each of those areas. Then you ask yourself this very, very important question. So what would I love my life to be like? My work, my difference making, my relationships, my health. And notice the minute you ask, what would I love? 
the, the, in polarity, the other side is going to say, well, you can't have that. You, you don't have this. You it's going to try to argue you out of it. For now, suspend the voice of the status quo or the voice of contraction and let the voice of expansion be the voice that you're paying attention to, regardless of all the reasons I can't have it, regardless of how many times I might have tried and it didn't work, regardless of all of that, I'm still going to let myself know what I would love. I'm still going to let myself know that even in these times, and maybe you give 10 minutes to this, and you begin to say what you would love that would answer your longing and dissolve the discontent in each of the areas. And now you have four touchstones, four center, just like four corners to a, a new life. My health, my relationship, my vocation, time and money, freedom. You have no idea how to bring it all about. You don't have to. But you do have to know what it is that, and where it is in terms of form, uh, energy, feeling, result that you would love to end up with. Once you have that, we'll take the next steps. So you have the ability, and I believe the interest, because that's why you're here. I'm very glad you're here. Have fun dreaming. <laughs>